Hello fellow painters, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna paint uh, Mind Flyer from Baldur's Gate um, or if you wish to from the Forgotten Realms box. So I hope uh, you're gonna enjoy it. Uh, I will focus today mostly on the um, cold tones uh, on the miniature. So uh, I hope you will uh, enjoy the recording. If you do um, enjoy my uh, painting blocks, so subscribe to the channel, comment down below, like the recording. But in the meantime, uh, grab your paints, brushes, and let's start. After the black primer and the zental highlight, I will begin by laying down the foundation of our Mind Flyer's distinctive skin tone using a Citadel Achillean Green. This vibrant blue-green hue will serve as the base for our other colors. Applying uh, this color evenly across the miniature, making sure to cover the entire surface where the Mind Flyer's skin tone uh, will be visible. Building up the layers with Achillean Green will be crucial to achieving that eerie otherworldly skin tone characteristics uh, of uh, Mind Flyers. Be patient and allow each layer to dry before progressing to the next step in our painting journey. Moving on to the tentacles, I will introduce Citadel Volupus Pink in this part of our tutorial. This vivid pink shade will bring a striking contrast to um, the Mind Flyer's menacing tentacle ends. In this crucial stage of our Mind Flyers painting journey, I will employ Vallejo Blue Grey to create mesmerizing light reflections on the creature's unique skin. These highlights will give depth and dimension to our painting. With a steady hand and a fine airbrush, apply Vallejo Blue Grey sparingly to the raised areas of the Mind Flyers skin. Focus on creating soft, gentle uh, strokes to mimic the effect of light dancing on the creature's alien complexion. Remember, less is often more when working with highlights. Gradually build up the intensity by adding layers as needed, ensuring a subtle, realistic shimmer that invokes the eerie allure of mind flyers. In this phase, I will take our Mind Flyer's tentacles to the next level by incorporating Vaiho Squid Pink. This vibrant shade will give the tentacle tips an eye-catching and otherworldly appearance. As with the previous steps, exercise uh, patience and control to ensure the Squid Pink highlights are both vivid and refined. The contrast between this uh, vibrant pink uh, and the Mind Flyer's green skin will um, captivate viewers and make your painting truly stand out. In this segment, I will shift my focus uh, to the leather elements uh, of our Mind Fly satire. Begin by applying Citadel Gore Grantofer as the base color for the leather mm, portions, bringing depth and realism to our painting. Use broad brush strokes to ensure even coverage of Citadel Gore Grantofer on the leather sections. This rich, earthy tone will serve as the foundation upon which I will build textures and details for the Mind Flyers outfit. Take your time! To achieve a smooth and consistent application uh, of this base color.
As we delve into details of the Elitids attire, let's start by applying Citadel Blood Angels Red as the base color for its distinctive coat. This bold red hue will give our painting character and depth. Use deliberate and careful brush strokes to ensure complete and even coverage of the coat in Citadel Blood Angels Red. This step is crucial to establishing the vibrant eye-catching color of the Elitids attire. Take your time to achieve a smooth and consistent application, paying special attention to maintaining clean lines and edges. This rich base will serve as the canvas upon which uh, we will add intricate details, capturing the essence of the Elitids iconic coat. Now let's shift our focus to the metallic details of our elitid painting. Citadel Iron Hand Steel will be our go-to color to bring a realistic sheen to all the steel elements, adding an extra layer of depth and authenticity. With a careful precision, apply Citadel Iron Hand Steel to all the steel components of the elitid's attire and accessories. This includes buckles and any other metallic parts, ensuring they shimmer with the convincing metallic luster. It is time to protect your hard work. Apply Vallejo matte varnish to provide a protective layer before we apply the oil wash. This step ensures the integrity of your artwork and sets the stage uh, for the finishing touches. Use a clean brush uh, to gently and evenly apply Vallejo matte varnish across the entire painted surface of your elated miniature. This varnish not only protects your masterpiece, but also prepares the surface for better adherence of the upcoming oil wash. Allow, of course, uh, the matte varnish to dry completely before proceeding to the next step. In this step, I will enhance the depth and realism of the leather parts, red cape and the steel elements of your Elite uh, by applying uh, oil wash to the miniature. This technique will bring out shadows and create an impressive level of detail. Apply the oil wash carefully to the leather sections, uh, cape and steel elements, allowing it to flow into the deepest recesses to create a natural shadowing effect. Take your time during this step, as it can uh, significantly uh, elevate the overall appearance of your elite painting. It is crucial to refine the painting by removing excess oil wash for a polished finish. Uh, begin by gently using cosmetic pads or cosmetic tips um, to clean up any areas where the oil wash has accumulated more than desired. Be patient and meticulous while cleaning up, as precision is key in achieving a professional look. By removing excess oil wash, you will ensure that the details of your elitid painting remain sharp and visually striking. In this step, I will focus on the intriguing fake eyes um, adorning the Elitids armor. Begin by applying Vaihomun yellow as the base color for these eerie eye-catching features, adding a touch of mystique to your painting. Uh, 
Use precise brushwork uh, to carefully fill in the areas um, designated uh, for the fake eyes with Vaiho Moon Yellow. These captivating details will create a mesmerizing contrast against the dark background of the armor, bringing out the Elite's enigmatic charm. As we continue to refine our Elite, let's focus on the fake eyes intricate details. Use Vaiho Orange Fire to add depth and a touch of mystery to these captivating features enhancing their visual impact. Patience and precision are crucial during this step, as the orange fire shadows will add a layer of complexity to your Elite's armor. By bringing out the shadows, you will give your painting a striking and alluring quality inspired by the Elites from Baldur's Gate 3. I will use Vallejo Gloss Varnish to create um, the illusion of wetness and mystery for the fake eyes adding a captivating finishing touch. Use a fine brush, delicately apply Vallejo Gloss Varnish over the surface of the fake eyes. This gloss finish will simulate the appearance of moisture making uh, the eyes appear eerily lifelike and enhancing their enigmatic allure. Be mindful of precision during this step ensuring uh, you cover only the areas designated for the fake eyes. As we approach uh, the final details of our Elite, let's turn our attention to the sewing elements uh, on the leather armor. Vallejo Ochre Brown will help us create an, an authentic and weathered look um, for these intricate features. Using a fine brush, carefully apply Vallejo Ochre Brown to highlight um, the stitching and sewing details on the leather armor. This subtle touch will bring out texture and craftsmanship on the Elite attire. In this final detail-oriented step, I will use Citadel Bane Blade Brown to add realism and texture to the leather elements by simulating scratching and highlights. Dip a fine brush into the color and carefully apply small scratches and uh, worn areas uh, on the leather, paying particular attention to the edges and areas uh, where wear uh, and tear would naturally occur. Additionally, Apply Bane Blade Brown as a highlight to the raised areas of the leather, creating depth and adding visual interest. This step will make the leather elements of your Elite painting appear weird and well worn. In this enchanting um, step, I will bring the Elite to life with a mystical touch by painting the magic flame it's casting in its hands. Citadel Fulgrim Pink will create a vibrant and eternal effect. 
with utmost care and precision, use a Citadel Fulgrim Pink to paint the magical flames emanating from the Elitid's hands. Gradually build up the intensity uh, of the pink, allowing the flames to flicker and dance with the otherworldly glow. Take your time during this step to achieve a captivating and magical effect that truly captures the essence of the Elitid's arcane abilities. I will use Vajajo Squid Pink to create an um, OSL effect on the Elitid's body. This will add a mesmerizing glow, uh, giving the illusion that the magical flames are casting light on the surrounding areas. With a delicate touch, lightly sketch Vajajo Squid Pink around the areas where the magical flames would cast the radiant glow on the Elitid's skin. Focus uh, on creating a soft, subtle transition from pink to the surrounding green skin tone. Precision is crucial during this step to achieve a convincing OSL effect. The Vajajo Squid Pink will add depth and realism um, to your painting, making the Elitid appear um, as if it's truly ch uh, channeling powerful magic. I will use Vajajo World Purple to take the Magic Flame and uh, OSL effect on the Elite to the next level, adding an extra layer of uh, enchantment and depth. Begin by applying Vajajo World Purple to the highest points of the Magical Flames in the Elite's hands. This will create a captivating contrast and a sense of brilliance within the flames. Then. Delicately extend Vallejo World Purple to the areas surrounding the magical flames, continuing the OSL effect on the Elitid's body. This touch will give the impression that the vibrant magic is illuminating the creature's surroundings. Pay close attention to precision during this step, as it did truly make your Elitid painting shine. In this exquisite uh, final touch, um, I will use Vallejo Hexed uh, Lichen to infuse the magic uh, flame with brilliance and create a fading light effect uh, for the OSL effect on the Elitid's body. Apply Vallejo Hexed Lichen to the very tips uh, and the hottest areas on the magical flames in the Elitid's hand. This will create a captivating and intense uh, glow at the core on the flames. Then, with a gentle hand, uh, subtly blend Vajajo Hexed Lichen into the areas where the OSL effect is present on um, the Elitid's body. This step will soften the transition and give the impression that the magical light is gradually fading uh, into the surrounding uh, darkness. Patient and precision are crucial here, as Vajajo Hexed Lichen will add the final touches of brilliance to your Elitid's uh, magical flames and OSL effect. Let's turn uh, our attention to the striking red cape. Vallejo Bloody Red will help us add dynamic highlights to the prominent feature. With a steady hand and a fine brush or airbrush, apply Vallejo Bloody Red to the raised and exposed areas of the red cape. These highlights will add depth and dimension to the fabric, making it uh, appear more realistic and captivating. Take your time during this step to ensure precision and balance distribution of Vallejo Bloody Red. These highlights will make your Elitid scape pop with vibrancy, capturing the essence of the character's striking attire.
In this step, I will use uh, Citadel Basilicanum Grey to refine and deepen uh, the shadows of the red cape and steel elements, adding a touch of realism and depth to your elitid. Carefully apply Citadel Basilicanum Grey to the areas uh, of the red cape that would naturally have deeper shadows such as folds and creases. This will create a sense of dimension and make the cape appear more lifelike. Additionally, use the same grey um, to touch up the shadows on the steel elements, focusing on areas where shadows naturally fall. This step will further enhance the metallic appearance and create a more convincing illusion of depth. In this um, finishing touch, um, I will use Citadel Iron Hand Steel to add a brilliant edge highlight to the steel elements, giving them a polished and metallic uh, gleam that make uh, your eliting truly shine. With a fine brush and a steady hand, carefully apply this color along the edges um, of the steel components. Focus on areas where light would naturally catch and create a bright highlight. Take your time to ensure precision and consistency in your edge highlights. These touches will make the steel elements of your elitid pop with a stunning, realistic metallic shine. In this step, I will use Citadel Full Grim Pink to add exquisite edge highlights to the OSL elements on your elitid painting, giving them an otherworldly radiance. With a fine brush, delicately apply Citadel Full Grim Pink along the edges of the OSL areas. Concentrate on the areas where the magical light is most intense, creating a captivating contrast. Precision is key during this step to achieve a convincing OSL effect. The Citadel Full Grim Pink edge highlights will enhance the illusion of radiant magic making your elite arcane abilities from Baldur's Gate come to life with a mesmerizing glow. With this masterful touch, your painting will truly shine, capturing the essence of the elite's mystical power and showcasing your skills as an artist. As we approach uh, the final steps, let's use Vallejo Scarlet Blood to add dynamic edge highlights to the cape and introduce some subtle uh, weathering for a more realistic appearance. Carefully apply this color along the edges of the red cape, focusing on areas where the light would naturally catch and create highlights. This will make the cape appear vibrant and visually uh, captivating. To achieve a subtle weathering effect, lightly up Vallejo Scarlet Blood on selected areas of the cape where uh, wear and tear would naturally occur, such as the edges and corners. Um, this touch will add authenticity and character to your elite attire. In this step, I will use Citadel Morgas Bone to dry brush the black base of your elite painting, bringing out depth and texture to complete the overall presentation. Load the dry brush with a small amount of Citadel Morgas Bone and then gently swipe it across the surface of the black base. The aim uh, is to let the raised surface pick up the bone color, creating a weathered and textured effect. 
be careful not to apply too much pressure or paint. The dry brush technique will add highlights and depth to the base while maintaining the overall dark ambience of your elited environment. In this final refinement, uh, I will use uh, Citadel Basilicanum Grey to darken down the main base of your elite painting. This step will add depth and realism while trying together the various elements of your uh, composition. After applying different contrast colors uh, on the tentacles in the base, use Citadel Basilicanum Grey to paint um, over the main base, focusing on areas where shadows naturally fall and where the tentacles meet the base. This subtle touch will help unify the entire composition and create a cohesive look, grounding your elite uh, within its environment. In this creative touch, I will use Vallejo Full Grim Pink to infuse the inner sides of the tentacles on the base with a vibrant and eye-catching hue, adding depth and visual interest. Carefully apply this color to the inner surface of the tentacles on the base, ensuring that the color enhances the intricate details and shadows uh, of uh, these elements. This subtle but impactful step will bring a splash of color and contrast to your base, making it uh, even more captivating and harmonizing with the overall color scheme of your elite painting.